everything you need to know about products and services that can improve your life. This is Experts on Call on CL 650. And we're back. This is Experts on Call on CL 650. I'm Joanne Sutton, and today we're talking about insurance. Joining us in the studio from Intact Insurance, we have Patrick Magnuson along with Keith Story and our resident broker, Andrew Tablotny of Laguerre Pelling Insurance. Now, our conversation up until this point has been talking about uh, winter weather specifics when it comes to insurance, whether it's your home or your car and being prepared uh, before the nasty weather sets in. But something that we haven't really touched on yet is when should you actually be talking to your broker about changes to your policy? Is it is it every time something changes in your life or your home or uh, like where's the measuring stick on this one? Well, it, in, insurance it shouldn't be a once a year thing where you, you talk to your broker at, at renewal and that's it. I mean, anytime things change in your life, you need to be having that discussion with them because there is, as I said before, there's there's terms and conditions in, within your policy that can impact your ability to, to, to make a claim. So some of the examples of those changes, like if, like if I changed my carpeting to hardwood floor, do little things like that matter? Well, I think it's, it's going to be specific to, to, a, to a dollar amount, but uh, anytime you do renovations over, over $10,000, you have to advise your broker and advise your insurance company. So that's kind of the magic number for sure. But that said, I mean, that, that over a five-year period, that may, that may build up pretty quickly. So the way I put this is your insurance broker is your insurance professional. Most of people listening are not insurance professionals. So if you have any questions or a little bit of uncertainty, uh, just call them and tell them. I mean, that, that is basically, not basically, but that, that is part of what they do, uh, is they're there to answer those questions. And, and you give them the information. And, and it's all about disclosure and uh, whether, and certainly renovations is one. And that, that's a very common one. Mm -hmm. um, and your own know, carpet to hardwood probably doesn't uh, have a significant change within the the replacement cost of your home. And but there could have been other things along those lines, and well, and that was one renovation, and then something else happened. Then you did the bathroom, and it builds up. Mm -hmm. Well, if your basement, for example, is an unfinished basement, and, and then you do a fifty thousand dollar renovation to it, the insurance that you have on the building may not take into consideration uh, or have enough value in limits to cover that. Mm -hmm. So by letting your broker know, they can. They can modify the limits as necessary. That's right. And so of course, and when you first got your insurance, you would have done a replacement cost calculator to assess the value of, or the the value of, sorry, the replacement cost of your home and the amount of insurance that you need. So, when you did that, you didn't disclose that there was a finished basement. So now that it's finished, the amount of insurance has certainly changed, and of course, the risk has changed. So, you know, I, I think we want to get away from this whole discussion. But every time you call your broker, call your insurance company, it ends up being a premium. But it's important that when you have insurance, that you have insurance correctly and properly that suits your lifestyle and your assets. And now we're just talking about the the dollar value, but there's other things that impact that are, that are, that can be a real have a real issue for you, and that's things like you have a bed and breakfast, you don't bother to disclose it. Uh, you have a border, that's a, you know can be a huge issue. Um, you know, some companies, depending on how many borders you've got, will will they don't want the, the risk period. So now you've got. What's the point of having insurance if, it, if it's not valid? That's mm -hmm. and that's you know, what you need to be aware of. If when you're doing these renovations, if you leave the house and the house is vacant, that's a big no-no. The coverage goes down significantly. The premiums go up, unfortunately, but because there, it is huge exposure. So if you don't if you don't bother disclosing these sorts of things, then uh, you know you're 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 jeopardizing your policy. Mm -hmm. If you buy a big ring mm -hmm. and you lose it, well, that's that's money out of your pocket. But, you know, to, put, to jeopardize your entire policy is just doesn't make sense. Oh, that's right. Okay. So basically, Andrew, uh, representing the broker side of the business, it's, it's about building a great relationship with your broker. And as a broker, you need to know almost as much about my home and my living environment as I do. I had a fellow just actually call this morning, and he was calling about his kids because his his one daughter was going to be buying her her house, and they were still staying there, and the other one was going to be was going to be moving in for three months, and he wanted to know what's what's all the you know how does this impact things. So I had to lay out the scenario, saying, well, one has to take a tenant's package, and then add the policy to this one, and the other one go, would stay there and add the other one there, and he said, oh, okay. By the time the conversation was over, it was clear in his mind what he needed, but he had no idea before the conversation what what was the best route in terms of coverage. I, th I think we see that today. It it's not like it used to be. I mean, it, you don't just go and leave to work from a nine to five, and then you come back home and it's just your family. I mean, you, 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 a lot of people have a business running out of their home. They might uh, be doing some after hours work at their home. They might have a side business going at home. Uh, th their kids may have moved back. Uh, their, their parents may have moved in. 
all these things can potentially have an impact. And it's just about sharing that information. And in particular, we talk, start, start talking about home-based business. And Andrew mentioned that bed and breakfast is one. But, you know, the number of times we have people doing sort of auto repairs uh, out of their garage, I mean, that is a significant exposure. And, you know, a lot of people think, well, it's just, it's just a side business. Well, getting insurance is the cost of your business. Um, and if you're not willing to, to do that, then, then maybe you shouldn't be running the business because uh, th there is a cost to, to do that. And, you know, it, and if, you, if you're not going to get the, the coverage that it may jeopardize your your main coverage. So then, you know, you think you're saving on one part of the insurance, but you may not have the coverage that you think you have. And, and that's a terrible situation, both for us as an insurer to tell somebody that <laughs> as Andrew, as a broker, to have to, to deal with that. And of course, as you as a customer to, to have to, to realize that and, that you're now in that situation. On home-based business, I get a lot of, well, nobody comes, no, you know, I ask, well, does a career come to the house? No. And, you know, it, it, customers come, no. So they, people right away assume, well, I've got no exposure, but you they still... They just operate out of, a, uh, out of a spare bedroom and yeah. they write mm -hmm. off their telephone and their electricity. Right. But mm -hmm. you, you still have to declare that to the insurance company because there is the potential exposure. That career, there may be one time a career comes and that's the one time the guy slips on the, on the wet leaves that are on your front driveway that you didn't clean off in right. the winter. So basically, the bottom line is what happens if you don't have these conversations with your broker? Well, as long as nothing happens, it's kind of like, like, like cheating on your income tax. If nothing happens, you're fine. But yeah. Yeah. If something happens, <laughs> and then there's a coverage issue, or, yeah. you know, a policy and issue. And you're denied. Yeah. And you don't have, yeah. Because you're, you're not covered. That's right. That's yeah, the or, bottom line. Or you line. may not be covered for that portion of it, or you may not have the extent of coverage that you have. And, and there, there could be a financial uh, burden as a result of that. And Andrew mentioned at the very beginning that part of the... This is part of your financial plan, your insurance. Um, so as much as, you know, not having life insurance or, or, or not having disability insurance, and uh, again, why, why risk it? So anytime there's a significant change in your life, you bought an engagement ring, you have a tenant, a child moved out, you do a $10,000 renovation, those are sort of all your measuring sticks that mm -hmm. you sh that should prompt you to have a conversation with your broker. If it's important to you, you should probably call. Okay. Uh, are there any other final tips on being prepared for winter that we might have missed today? You know, we covered a lot about emergency preparedness kits in your vehicles and uh, just overlooking your home to see if you've suffered any um, unsurmountable damage from this crazy summer that we had. So, well, I, you know, we talk about water being, you know, 45 to 50% of all claims and it, one thing we didn't really touch on was your roof and so, you know, Part of your winterizing, you should actually just take take a look at your roof. Are the are the shingles starting to curl on your you know your actual shingles, or or your your you know same thing on the wood shakes? They can start to curl. And if we had this long hot summer, you know, the roof the wood shake roofs have taken quite a beating. So it's something you might want to get you know somebody if you don't want to look at it, then have somebody else take a quick look at it, and make sure that it's in a good condition. Because once the wind starts coming, those those things start to lift, and either the water blows up or or the tiles start actually, actually coming off and creating problems for you. Thanks, Andrew. Uh, Keith, anything to add? I was going to say that when you're traveling in the wintertime, it's a good good idea to make sure that you've uh, left a plan, especially if you're traveling through the interior in the winter in the winter season. Leave a plan with family members where they know where you're going. They know how you're going to get there. And, and we live in the, the mobile tech stage. Uh, and certainly not while you're driving. <laughs> Send a message to your uh, to your family to let them know where you are along the, along the way. If it, all of a sudden an accident does happen, they knew you were here and, and you didn't arrive, they know where to start looking for you. Kind of like the advice we give to hikers that head off into the North Shore Mountains. Uh, exactly. Let someone else know your plan. Yep, right? absolutely. And Patrick, any final words? Yeah, we talked a lot about uh, your home and your car, but uh, there's going to be other things that you want to winterize in your life, whether it's your RV or your boat or uh, any of the toys or anything that you value. Make sure that it's all prepared and ready for, for winter because we just don't know what's going to come. Patrick Magnuson and Keith Story from Intact Insurance, thank you both for joining us today. Thanks, and our thank resident you. broker, Andrew Tablotny from Laguerre Pelling Insurance uh, in Richmond, thanks to you as well. How can we contact you if somebody wants to do that directly? 604-276-2474, uh, or uh, it, we have uh, contact information on, on our website at Laguerre, L-E-G-E-A-R, Pelling, P-E-L-L-I-N-G.com. And intact.ca. That's the spot. This is Experts on Call on CL 650.